Final days in the college dorms. Moving to my very first apartment, I will have a roommate, so it's a two bedroom apartment. It's 9 p.m. on a Monday and the packing has begun because I rented a car for the next two days to help me move and my car rental starts tomorrow at noon. So I do need to pack something so I can start moving things to my new spot. I don't really have moving boxes, but I do have, I do have a lot of boxes from when I get PR. I don't know why I just stuff them underneath my bed. So I guess it's coming in handy because I don't have to buy as many boxes or any. We're gonna say goodbye to the college dorm days. I know YouTube didn't really get to see a lot of me in here. I've been slacking on my YouTube, but I was like, you know, this is a cool experience and I might wanna document this so I can see it later on. The packing blanket is coming out and I call this a packing blanket because anytime I need to put something that's like dirty on my bed, I like to put this through it so it's a barrier and I can put dirty things on it and not be like grossed out so I can put this box because it's already in a little cuticle I think I might just take this down and like load my car with it since it's already in like a container and then the things that aren't in a little cubby I will put it because I have a lot of like miscellaneous products that aren't in like a holder first box is done I don't have any tape <laughs> so I'm gonna have to start stacking them up on the side and then buy some tape tomorrow to close it up box number two even though it looks like I have a lot of things I'm realizing I don't have as many things as I thought, which is like a relief, which means I packed up my toiletries a little bit faster than I thought. So I have the two boxes and then I have the two containers that I'm bringing and then the makeup stuff, I think I'm just like bringing it in the car with me, which means I can start packing my clothes now. This, I'm going to be putting paper bags, not paper bags, like plastic bags over and then taking them off the hanger and bringing those like that. But for day one, we've made a lot of progress and tomorrow it's going to be an even longer day. I'm gonna go pick up the car and we're gonna start putting the things in, bringing them over. I was supposed to pick up the car half an hour ago, but <laughs> we're Hispanic. A little bit late, a little bit late, but I have done two trips down the stairs. We're starting to sweat, babes. We're starting to sweat. And one, two, three, four, five, seven, eight. I don't know, many more trips down. Ooh, we are sweating. Okay, brought down all the boxes, all the suitcases, and I'm gonna bring the shoes and put it all in one bag. But I have this Ikea bag that I'm gonna fill with clothes so I don't have to wait to bring back a suitcase to fill it with clothes. Now this way, all of my drawers are empty. We're making progress, people. We're sweating, but we're making progress. I have no idea how many trips up and down the stairs I've done. I'm sweating. You can hear my heavy breathing. Yes, babe. This is a progress that we've made. Closet. Oh, closet is almost empty. I have to take out my dirty clothes bin. This is all the clothes left that I need to pack in my car. Oh, my car is packed. So I'm going to unload it, bring it back. And then on the next trip, I think I can get everything else packed. Oh, I'm at my new place. This is my room, y'all. Welcome to my bedroom. Nice big window. Beautiful lighting in here. Get into it. Mm, mm, mm. Let me show you around real quick. This is what we're working with, what we need to decorate. Who's excited? I'm excited. Look at the, look at the closet, y'all. Look at the, walk in. Look, I'm walking, I'm walking in. I threw my clothes on the floor already. Walk-in closet and my own bathroom that I will keep clean because I'm the clean roommate and my past roommate was not clean. Yes, tea. Yes, shade. Look at that. Look at that. We went from one row of closet to a whole walk-in. Three walls. Three walls. I have to make one more load still. I just finished unloading everything in load one. I have to go back to my old place, grab everything that's left, including my kitchen stuff, and then unload that and bring it here. But also, can we get into this car? This rental? This rental, okay. Worth every dollar. I was like, why is it? <laughs> why is it that price? Automatic start button, boop, boop. No, no, no turning in the key. No, no, no. The volume in here, when I play my songs, blast it. 10 out of 10. So cute. I'm going to take a break and because up and down the stairs, I'm tired. I heard that Bed Bath & Beyond is closing in Canada, so I'm gonna check the local one to see if they have any good sales. So I came to Bed Bath & Beyond. <laughs> it's closed. I think people already bought everything. The letter says closed to the public. Cerrado. We're gonna check out Marshalls right here. And there's a Winners as well. What else is there here? Hmm, we'll see. Look at this mirror. Perfect tall. The Ikea one I think was almost $200 or something. This one is $79. I ended up getting some random kitchen stuff because I wanted to check out Winners and Home Sense first before I make the mirror purchase just in case they would have a cuter one, cheaper one. I don't know. Y'all, the prices in these other stores are basically the same. Everyone in that TikTok video is like, oh, you should go here, you should go. Ikea's too. Why is it the same price? 
why are this why are some of the stuff that i wanted to buy in ikea cheaper than these other stores hmm that's funny i came to check it out because y'all were like da -da 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 -da. Mm, okay some of the stuff here is more expensive Mm. Yeah, I didn't like anything in there. I wanted to go and see to see what y'all were talking about, but no, no, babe. There was a lot of cachuachero in there. Cachuachero is like, um, how do I translate that to English? It's kind of like knickknacks, but knickknacks would be a nice way to put it. Just like a lot of things that are like, what is this for? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So now that I checked out those stools, I'm gonna go to Walmart. <laughs> I love Walmart, say but I look better. We have made it to Wale Morte. Yeah, the prices are looking a little bit more reasonable. This is what I'm talking about. Do I need this? No. What else, what else, what else? This is obviously to drink my apple juice. Do I get the champagne flute for my apple juice or the white wine glass? Let's be serious, I like big portions. I like these utensils, but they're 12 a pack. And guess what they don't have? All the utensils I need. Still trying to remember the fact that I'm vlogging, so <laughs> you just got the intro of that Walmart run and then me packing my bag. I got loads of cleaning stuff and then two cups, a small cup and a large, like the champagne glass. I'm gonna go to my new place and scrub a dub dub so then I can start putting things away and unpacking because I can't unpack knowing that it's not clean to my standard. We got heaps of cleaning stuff bites. I do wish I could snap my fingers and have everything unloaded to my apartment. And also I have one more load car load to bring but i think i'm gonna do that tomorrow morning i am too tired it's almost like seven o'clock <laughs> oh y'all i am tired <laughs> it is 9 p.m and i just finished unloading my stuff i've been doing this since one one o'clock one o'clock to 9 p.m just i'm excited how excited however the work is not over i need to clean this place before i start unpacking everything let me show you all the stuff that I have on the floor. I, there was no order. I just threw stuff there. This is all my closet stuff. My laundry bin, I'm gonna do some laundry. I need to clean the bathroom as well. I got a bunch of cleaning supplies at Walmart. I'm gonna put it to use. I'm just going to vacuum this area, clean my bathroom so then I can take a shower. I'm gonna call this a night. I'm just gonna end up cleaning, but I'll see you tomorrow. Good morning, it is the next day. I'm getting back into the habit of vlogging, so I forget. So if you watch the TikTok videos, you'll see some stuff that are not in the vlogs, and if you watch the vlogs, you see some stuff that are not in the TikTok. So I don't know if you wanna watch both and see if you catch the little mistakes where I forget to record. Basically, I took the prints down, and right now I'm taking off the painter's tape because I use painter's tape to stick them on the wall so I can reuse them in my new spot. All the tape has been removed from the photos. Also, this glare. I don't know if my lens is dirty, maybe it's just my lens. I tried cleaning it, but I don't have a lens cleaner. So I don't wanna scratch it with my shirt. Garbage. This mattress cover didn't do. Girl. That, it was supposed to be not a, a cover, uh, like a, to make it more comfy. Okay. And just like that. It's a wrap. It's a wrap. Mm hmm Wow. I felt like I just moved in here. I literally just moved in here. Onto bigger and better things. Mm -hmm. Happy, happy, happy day. <laughs> okay. Let's move on with her. Okay, we are on our way to Ikea. The nearest Ikea? Two hours. <laughs> we are 37 minutes out, and I realized that I was low on fuel. I had 20, I have 21 kilometers left driving and I was driving, driving, driving. At this point when I realized I was low on fuel, I had 40 kilometers left. And I was like, oh my goodness, I see a fuel place. That exit was close. And I said, ah! and I kept driving. I'm like, girl, we're not gonna make it. But I found this random little small town and they have fuel, so we're gonna fill her up. We're gonna fill it up. I was reading it backwards. I was like, oh, I have so much. No, I was going this way. Yeah, mm -hmm. so we're gonna fuel up and then we're gonna, drive 38 more minutes to ikea Ooh, the problem is that it's still cold in canada and in my mind i'm like oh i just got back from hawaii it's gonna be warm <laughs> literally wearing a tank like a little t-shirt and i'm like no it's not vibes not yet <laughs> it's still cold why do i look red okay lighting you more okay yeah. time going to stop oh, okay you want some marshmallows oh gotcha just give, give me a second mm -hmm. perfect perfect <laughs> Ooh, i don't know how to close that This is what I'm saving for my nightstand in this color. <laughs> what is it? How do 
really feel. Firm. I like this one. I'm trying to figure out what mattress I want. This is comfy. It's also the most expensive one. Of course. Just my luck. Oh, my days. This is where the magic happens. I'm trying to give the cheaper ones a chance or a reason they're cheaper. That is a board. This was a friend that I was looking at, but I didn't realize how close the floor it was. I'm trying to figure out if I need one of these in my closet. Okay, the lighting's getting better. I was like, whoever's in charge of lighting in here, fired. I also just met one of you guys, Dana. <laughs> What's up? If you watch the vlog, hey girl. I all do it. Meeting people in public that recognize me is always like, because <gasps> I'm like, I, I want to make sure I like, you know, like. <laughs> Anyways, I figured out what mattress I want. Oh, desk chair. That's the next thing I wanted to test. Taste test. Taste test. Wear test. Sit test. Oh. Oh, wow. That's good. We got the chairs. How do you feel about <gasps> this one? $249. Why is it? Does it recline for $249? Babe. Let's be for real. I'm trying not to grab everything because at heart I'm a baker. Not only at heart, in real life I'm a baker. Everything is so cute. As a garlic girl, I hate this. I'm trying not to go too crazy. This is a cart update. Look at these bowls. So cute. So I'm looking for a light for the side of my bed because in my room there's not much light source. But none of these stands are calling. This is too big. This one's the one I like the most, but I don't know if I like it silver. It feels like a wood or a bamboo. Now it's time to grab the big stuff. If I would have done a better job taking out photo. How am I supposed to read that? 13, 17, 18, 7? We're gonna go on a little hunt because I had one job take the photo. The other problem is one, there's one of me and two. And I don't know which desk I'm gonna get. I'm, I'm choosing between three right now. That humbled me. Little recap. So I was sweating buckets through my booty cheeks, pushing these two carts by myself, right? Um, and then I got to the car cash register and my cash register, dope. Didn't ask for his name, but he was fun and he was cool. And then he's like, you did this all by yourself. I'm like, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. anyways, he ended up helping me to get in contact with people or coordinate someone to help me load things in my car. Things are going into the car. Mirror, big booty mirror comes in the car and it's not going all the way in vibes. I'm like, this is not gonna work, <laughs> this is not gonna work. And I knew it wasn't gonna work the second I saw it next to my car, but the guys that are helping me to put it in just like determined. And I said in my head, I'm like, sir, this is not gonna work. Love the enthusiasm, but it's not gonna work. Obviously I didn't tell them that because they were like really putting in the work. So I said, mm hmm So I just waited for them to do their thing, right? They just kept trying and trying and trying. And in my head, I'm like, okay, this is not gonna work. And I was like, oh, thank you. I'm just gonna go return it. Cause like the reason I came here was cause I didn't want to pay the $140 delivery fee. And if I sent the mirror home, I still had to pay the $140 delivery fee. The mirror's already $200. I'm not gonna pay right and before y'all come for me for the price I checked Amazon checked all these other places because of the size of the mirror the same size mirrors are the same size same prices on Amazon so don't come for me okay <laughs> sorry but don't y'all y'all are too fast so I went in to return the mirror I had to wait in line because everyone in their mama was there but now I had to repark the car because my car was at the loading area and we're gonna go eat to be so <laughs> okay fish and chips five out of ten maybe four because it felt like i was eating it and then taking a shot of oil illegal mac and cheese four out of ten apple juice seven out of ten i wish it was colder <laughs> but this cake honestly carrying this whole meal if this cake was bad i would have been so pissed because <laughs> then everything would have been like subpar <laughs> it carried <laughs> and did i'm gonna need a whole head of broccoli to chow down to counteract 
that oily feeling that the haddock and chips left in my mouth. Oh my days. It's the fact that I have to drive two hours home. That's so illegal. I listened to the Hairspray soundtrack on the way here. Why did the soundtrack end before I got here? <laughs> I mean, that made sense. So I'm, I'm trying to see what I'm gonna listen to on the way home, so I'm like up and alive. Maybe the soundtrack one more time. Back home, I need to figure out the lighting situation because I don't like this yellow. I like it nice, white, and bright in here. I think I might have to change those light bulbs because they're daylight. I like them LED. So right now, I'm waiting for my friend. She's gonna come help me unload the Ikea stuff and bring it up here. So while I do that, I'm trying to still unpack what's in my suitcases so I can put my suitcases in our flex room, little storage room that we have, and they're not in the room. I'm trying to, end goal is get everything unpacked out of the suitcases and vacuum the floor and also like put the vacuum cleaner and like clean it well before I start assembling anything because there's a, everything's very much dirty. There's laundry on the floor, all those crabs on the floor. That's what I want to do. And packing is not very entertaining. And I don't have a tale to tell today. So that's why I haven't included much of it. And also the moments that I have unpacked is at wee hours of the night. So I'm trying to save you and then just cut it to the fun parts. I don't know, the fun parts. And y'all requested for the long videos. It wasn't me. Y'all yeah, on the TikTok comments, I want to do YouTube, YouTube, YouTube. So if it's too long, blame yourself. You said you wanted it long. Good morning, Baltimore. <laughs> Last morning with the car, I literally have to return it in like an hour and a half. So I was like, let's stop by Dollarama. There's some like organizers, compartment things that I need. And I need a trash can. That's not $40. And hopefully they have one here and hopefully they have a cute one here, right? And I think Costco is across the street. I'm going to try to make this quick, snappy, and fast so I'm not late to return this vehicle. But I also don't know. I don't think I have my Costco card. I wonder if you can get your Costco card on the app. Hmm. We'll figure that out. And maybe we'll not go to Costco. Maybe, maybe I won't. I need more of these. This is the same color that I got last time. But I'm, it feels like it's bigger. Mine feels smaller, or I don't know if it, maybe it's the same size. But I wanted to get in the same color so it matched. I'm gonna put this under my bathroom sink. And I need the clear acrylic thing. These, I need this for my bathroom organizer. Let's see, they have trash cans here, but they're not cute. Can we get this one at least for the bathroom? And then I'll see if I can get a cute one for my bedroom. Dollarama success. I'm gonna try to go to Costco and see if I can get in. I don't have my physical card, but I have my ID number and I also have like my digital card, but it's not verified. So hopefully they'll let me in. Or and if not, they can let it slide. I don't know. I got in, y'all. I got in. Um Eric and I, the guy who helped me. <laughs> um he was charismatic by the way. We tried to figure out on my phone. It, it wasn't working, so he gave me a temporary ID. Um, I'm here by the pan section. We have pans at home, however. Look at these. I used these when I went to Hawaii the other day. Um, my friend had them, and the smoothest cook, non-stick, I was slipping and sliding and gliding my egg. You don't do that. You go like this, but... <laughs> yeah. Uh, I'm gonna look for a pillow. <gasps> Is that? JK, it's not. I thought it was Le Crusade. La Crusade, whatever. It's something else. Current debate. Do I buy some pillows or do I wait till I visit my parents and buy those pillows from Amazon? I don't know if I like that. Finished at Costco, currently putting gas in the car to return it? I don't want to return it. I'm a car girl now. I want to be a car girl. Not in the budget yet, <laughs> but I want to be a car girl. And not just any car girl. I want to be a nice car girl. This, this is the vibe that I want. But I would, I need to make a little bit more money, wait a little bit longer for it. But this was fine. It's a couple days later, I finally finished my exams. I finished my last one this morning. And this is still a state of my room. The thing is, I leave on a flight tomorrow morning. <laughs> so this will be the state of my room. This is what it's going to be until I come back. So I'm still eating on my floor. I could eat outside in the kitchen, but I don't know. Something comfy cozy about eating on the floor. Mm, okay. I've been like ordering out or eating frozen foods for the past week and I'm totally sick of it. I'm so excited to go home to my parents. They're gonna make me good homemade food because you know, I couldn't buy groceries because I'm leaving tomorrow. That's the update. That's a moving process. Next step, decorating. Hope you guys know this video. I don't know if I'm gonna do one of me redecorating. Depends on how well this video does. So if you wanna see that one, give it a like, comment, watch it. Bye.